हे गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ रक्षा पटेल एंड आई मेक आर्ट वीडियोस सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस ब्यूटीफुल कार्निवल पिक्चर इट्स अ प्रिटी इजी वे टू क्रिएट एनी फोटोग्राफ व्हिच यू हैव आई वाज विजिटिंग द काला घोड़ा आर्ट फेस्टिवल एंड आई क्लिक द फ्यू पिक्चर्स देयर विच रियली इंस्पायर्ड मी टू क्रिएट दिस पेंटिंग ना वाइल बी यूजिंग वाटर कलर्स एंड पोस्टर कलर्स टू क्रिएट दिस पिक्चर सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स बिगिन Firstly I gave a wash of purple and blue for the sky as a background. For all the next steps I am using poster colors. So using the white color from my poster paints I created this Ferris wheel. Now it's very important to begin with the lightest color in your painting. So white was my lightest color and that is where I begin. So if you are a beginner poster colors or gouache colors could be your best friends because you can easily overlap colors in this medium. Coming back to my painting, I used crimson red to add the small circle in the middle of my Ferris wheel. Then I added an outer circle surrounding the inner circle using a mixture of orange and white. Next, using grey and a very pointed brush, I created this shadow to create depth. Now, using a lighter grey, I painted the inner side of the Ferris wheel. Using the same light grey, I added some details on one side of the stand of the Ferris wheel. Next I move on to create this colorful pieces of cloth which were hanging above the topmost one was lavender so that is where I begin I also added a darker purple to create depth from one side for this shade of yellow I added a bit of white to the chrome yellow of my poster colors the poster colors which I am using are from Camlin you can find the links to the materials I am using in the description box below Moving on to the next color I added strands of crimson and for the lighter one I added white to the crimson red The next color I chose was this light blue which I made by mixing a lot of white with cobalt blue Again to create depth I'm going to add a darker shade of the blue from the convergent corner Next I'm adding these light green colored strands here I have a tip for you guys if you are not able to use gouache colors and you're using poster colors you can make them appear as gouache colors by adding a bit of white to the poster colors Next I also added dark blue colored strands and I moved on to creating uh, under construction or maybe it was under renovation I don't really know but there was a building behind in the scene So I used a very dark brown to create the base for that building. As the base color of my building was drying, I moved on to add this detailed tree-like work on the stand of the Ferris wheel. So this is how you can always manage time while you are painting. While one layer or one part of your painting is drying, you can move on and you know finish the other part of the painting. So once the base layer of my building was dry I moved on to create certain shadows of the blocks of the building I used black and a very pointed brush to create this you can also use a brush pen or a regular gel pen if you're not comfortable using a pointed brush and then to create highlights I used yellow ochre color in very random strokes but just around the shadows which I created using black Once I was done adding all the details I had taped my painting and here you go So I hope you guys would have learned how to create your paintings using the photographs which you have and if you enjoyed watching the video do give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well See you in my next video